Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Brandy here from Artisan Bee Boutique coming on today to share with you a new journal that I just finished. This one is a three ring um, binder style with um, little grommets for the holes to keep them nice and sturdy. This one is about, let's see, I forgot the measurements. Uh, five and a half this way by about eight and a half long this way. Got three, um, one, I think these are the one inch, yeah, one inch silver binder rings, but you can change those out for uh, bigger rings to expand your journal as big as you want it. Definitely room for expansion in this one. I've got some pretty cream colored tool um, ties here on the, on the uh, rings to make, you know, to accent it. And on the front cover here, I've put a pretty little um, handmade this is a wooden, like a wooden uh, earring blank basically, but I like to use these to make little tags for journals or, you know, all kinds of stuff actually. And I just did a little bulb pin and accent, uh, matching accent there, charm accent for that. So you could write on this side to personalize it, sorry. Um, and then on the back, it's got kind of like a print. It's like a French, um, vintage French style or look, I guess you would say. This journal, um, the idea behind this one for me was just um, to leave a little more room for your imagination in this one. So these covers are, um, it's a hard cover and I made the covers from uh, recycled, um, I don't wanna say chipboard because it's not as thick as chipboard. It's kind of like the, you know, the backs of your scrapbook paper pads, like that kind of thickness. And of course it's doubled up to give it extra strength, hole punched and again, added these little metal grommets here to, um, you know, give it a strength so that they won't pull through or rip through. The cover, I did a nice collage on. And up here, it says this is how they live their life. I just did some look, some collaging on the front there. With this pretty little girl here. some burlap paper in the background there to give it some more texture. The ink around the edges is uh, Tim Holtz. Um, which one is that? Salvage Patina, the Distress Oxide. There's some uh, vintage photo inking on here as well, but the one around the edges here is the Salvage Patina. Some lace trim on the inside of the covers here. I didn't do a lot of frou-frou on this one. I wanted this one to be more of a journal that you can add to, add your own touches to. Lots of, you'll see that inside, when we get inside here, there's lots of uh, writing space and lots of empty um, scrapbook paper pages for you to add photos to and, and customize it the way you want it. That's the back. Again, the grommets on the back as well. Just give it a nice finished look. These you can take off if you wish, if you don't want the uh, kind of like frou-frou on the, I call it frou-frou, but <laughs> the fluffies on the side there. I like the accent of it, but if you want it to be a little bit less girly or less, um, you know, frilly, you can remove those easily. They're just tied on. Um, if you want to use them somewhere else in the journal, you could do that as well. And so again, this is just a little accent that I'm including with this journal and you can use it anywhere in the journal that you like. Okay, so let's take a look inside. So I've included some of my um, ephemera from my personal collection in this one. This one's got several pieces in it that are from my own um, findings. I like to go antique shopping and thrift shopping and look for uh, just vintage and antique uh, photos and papers and things to use in my journal so that you get something completely unique in your journal. Sorry that my camera's, I must have bumped that. Sorry about that. So in the front cover page here, now I also didn't do a lot of personalizing with this journal. I didn't do a lot of like words and things like that because I wanted it to be more, you know, whatever you choose to use it for. It's more of an everyday life journal and you can use that in however you wish. You can add to it and make it different if you want. But this is the, the first photo. Uh, this is, uh, you know, authentic ephemera, not a copy. And this is a good size picture little over six and a half inches long by four and a half inches. 
and these beautiful ladies on the front there. This one is from 1928. It says 1928 Denver. And that has the, the ladies' ages on the back there as well. So you can see that that is a lovely, and I love that, the color, the color of that one. It's not your typical black and white photo. And I tuck that one in there for you and you can use that wherever you want inside the, the journal. This is also, um, you know, authentic ephemera, just an uh, envelope I had purchased a a bag full of these just a uh, lot of empty em envelopes from this one here this same person loved to write letters and just had lots of or receive letters I guess and just had a ton of these empty envelopes in here so I just thought that made a nice accent to this and this one is dated August 30th 1943 open here it's just as I as I received it like I said lots of writing writing paper in, in this one and these are also folded over, so you can unfold them or you can just write on the way they are. Here's a vintage, um, part of a vintage sewing pattern here for a jumpsuit. This is a book page from a 1950s children's book here. And this is just a little diary sheet for you out of one of my planners for you to, you know, just write some notes on there and there's lots of these just a blank um, scrapbook paper throughout so you'll got you're going to have lots of places to either collage or just kind of you know decorate however you wish but um, the idea here for me in my mind was to leave you plenty of room to put your favorite photos and things like that on there another little kind of calendar page here it's got, even though we're almost done this year, you got 2022 and then also 2023 here. And then some different types of note papers and just different writing spaces here. A nice assortment to give it some variety. And vintage book pages, including like, you know, recipe books and, and different things like that. cute little fox right there and this says things to do right here and this is from a vintage uh, antique school book here and this was just a fun magazine page that I found I like the colors of that and I just thought it added a nice little touch to this this book so you can see it's got a little bit of everything in here, a little vintage, a little antique, a little modern. Um, these papers are like uh, textiles. I think that's what the pad was called. Some bullet journal page there. And a, just a cool empty craft envelope that you can tuck your things inside here that'll show through that window there. This page, again, I upcycled a part of a journal that I had here and this is another authentic vintage photo. Cute little boys in that picture. Outside having a picnic. And it says Doug and Robert. I think it says Doug or Denny. I'm not sure. I would think Doug, but it could be Denny. And I don't see a date on this one, but you can see that that's a really cool looking old photo there. And then here's another piece of ephemera here an unused vintage postcard. Some tracing paper here. Another vintage book page here. Hints on how to save time and money. And then this side is talks about keeping food in the refrigerator. <laughs> So as you can see, this journal is meant for you to customize it and make it your own. Lots of, I just included a lot of little fun things in here for you to fill out, fill up. This has a little, this is coffee stain and has a little uh, pocket inside there that you can just tuck things in. This was from a journal that I had, or yeah, a, like a diary journal type thing that I had. 
And this is just some fun craft paper to play with. And this is um, from a vintage book that was about, um, I'm not sure what the book title was, but as you can see, it's got that kind of 50s uh, entertainment, TV shows and things like that, Howdy Doody. And it talks about an early TV set. Cool um, crossword puzzle there. I like these papers. A lot of these look like a, like a vintage wallpaper to me. Just some fun, fun odds and ends just kind of spread out through this through this journal. Make it a lot of fun and, and just versatile. Um, coloring book pages, coffee stain pages, lots of writing pages, blank pages. It's a little postcard. A little burlap, burlap backed um, craft paper. So as you can see, you have lots of room for your imagination in this journal. This journal leaves lots of space for you to get creative and to add your personal touches to it. Another page I just liked from a magazine that I found. I liked what that said, you grow girl. And I really like, like I said, I really like the uh, kind of textile um, wallpaper looks of these papers here. Another pocket here, and here's here's another uh, letter. This one is my favorite piece in this. Well, it's hard to top with that first picture, but I love all these um, vintage antique pieces here that you're getting with this journal. Um, this one, the date, the year, it, I cannot read it there. I don't know if anybody can make that out. I really can't tell what that is, but it has a three cent postage stamp, so that should kind of give you an idea. This is a authentic letter, and this is exactly how I got it when I, purchase this package and so I'm including this whole thing I'm just gonna open it up so you can get a look it's a whole letter it just says Thursday evening September 17th and I think that name is Esteline which I've never heard that name but it's very interesting sounding and so and this was already ripped like that I haven't done anything to change it but it says love mom on the end and it's a very long letter so it'll give you something fun to read and you can see the paper the aging on this paper so that gets tucked in and you'll receive it exactly how I received it when I purchased the package with all these pretty little letters in them. Just a fun little addition to your ephemera in here. And I just made a little pocket for that. Try to keep that, keep that in there nice and neat. I just wanna be careful with those old papers, you know. Okay, so just some more writing paper. And here's just a, a nice little uh, brown, small size bag that you can decorate and then tuck things in into here. And then just another little coffee dyed. This was a page from a recipe book and had some interesting things in it. Billy Graham's poppy seed dressing. And then the back page, you can decorate this with your photo or however you want that to, to be. And then more lace trim here on the edge to finish it. Again, the back cover. I love the overall look of this journal and it looks just as good with or without. I didn't do a tie closure on this one because this one is not a fat um, journal. You may choose to make it fat and then later on add a tie closure to it but you don't need to, It's um, it lays it lays rather nicely, just completely flat, so you don't really need to add anything to it, but you can, you can really, really just play with this one and really make it, make it your own. And there's still room for personalization on the front if you wanted to add like a name or title down here, you could still add more to that. But again, I like to include like a little tag or something that you can personalize if you don't wanna add anything else to the cover itself. And you can just put this on the lace or, you know, on the little, anywhere you want in this journal. It just makes a nice little accent. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this one. I think this one um, came out really pretty. Like I said, the idea behind this one for me was just so that you, the well, the receiver of this journal, I keep saying you, and it might be you, um, the receiver of this journal will just have a lot of fun being able to add their own um, touches to it and really just have lots of space for writing and personalizing. And you can still add so much to this. And if you change these, 
out and you know it gets fat you change these out to a bigger size um, you can just go as far as your imagination lets you go with this with this journal um, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video with me and I appreciate you coming on in today and just um, taking the few minutes to look through my new creation um, if you liked it please give it a thumbs up ring the bell so you don't miss any new videos and uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please um, hit subscribe so that we can spend more time together. And I've been really enjoying the comments and, and just the people that have taken the time to watch my videos all the way through and comment on my, on my work. And just in general, everybody's just been very sweet and very, very kind with their words. And I appreciate that. So it's been fun. I'm having a good time with this and I'm looking forward to doing more. I'm also working on some um, wood and paper decoupage earrings right now. That's another project that I've currently got in the works and I've been working on the, the, the you know, the main body part of the earrings. So I'll be listing some, or, you know, doing a video of some of the finish, but I'll give you a little sneak peek. Like some of these are just, this is one uh, of the bottom parts here that I've got going so far. So that's kind of what that's gonna look like. The great thing about these wood earrings is they are huge if you like big well not huge but they're big if you like big earrings but they don't weigh anything so that's the the beauty of these so um be on the lookout for probably just a small you know short video on some finished um finished items for this as well so and they're not all vintagey some are going to be um like these here that type oops <laughs> and all of them are going to be finished on the front and back but anyway that's just something fun to show you and you know there'd be all, all kinds of different stuff this pair for example are a i did a vintage um this is an old dictionary page that i used and then i decoupaged napkin over top of it on this side to give it some interest some extra interest so anyway some neat things on the way i'm going to be doing probably just a little um video maybe maybe i'll do a little video just to show like each uh completed pair but there's there's probably going to be quite a few so it might be a short, it might be a regular video. But anyway, thank you again. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you're enjoying your weekend. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye now.